Hello and welcome again to our studios here in Cúlín and to this month's edition of what we now like to call Súl Rínach. Once again, the month of September was busy with the healthy offering of cultural events locally, including agricultural fairs, concerts, exhibitions and the launch of the new traditional music festival here in Dingle. We are blessed here on the peninsula with the majestic landscape, a multitude of visitor attractions and a, a rich culture which bring large number of tourists to Karkagina. But it also provides employment to hundreds of people locally, especially in the hospitality sector. However, in order to keep enticing what is now a more discriminating visitor to visit, the peninsula communities have to be inventive to keep attracting them. The latest addition to an ever-expanding calendar of events on the peninsula is the Trad Fusion Music Festival Tradfest. Organised by the Granville sisters Aoife and Deirdre, both accomplished musicians in their own right, the festival brought musicians from near and far for a weekend that by all accounts was a resounding success. The festival included workshops, a session trail, concerts and competitions, which took place in and around Dingle from the 8th to the 11th of September. Scruggle was out and about getting a flavour of the festival. Tradfest, the aim of the festival is to kind of show how accessible Irish music can be to you know everyone. It doesn't have to be just um, very, very pure, traditional and um, like that. That's the grand style, trying to kind of get everyone involved and it's to show and to showcase um, young musicians as well as fusion groups and we've overseas acts. And we have 60 people coming to do the session trailer and it's quite intensive. Um, and also, you know, just to um, uh, so kind of launch new albums for people and just try and be a little di bit different. So we want to do the, keep it active and get people that mightn't just play music but want to be involved no matter what, if it's dancing or singing or listening. So that was the end of the festival. Uh, originally what we wanted to do was we were just going to organise a concert and um, the group can who were playing on Saturday night at the festival. We um they're a Scottish based group and we wanted to get them over to play in Lingo and then when we had booked them we thought well maybe we'll make it a weekend thing. So that was how it came about and we just established the Dingle Tra Dingle Tra Fusion Festival company and then it just grew from there. We were a load of people there was phenomenal interest in I suppose people love Dingle and want to come down, so that's why we organised the session trail and the community really got involved, the pubs got involved and we were very lucky that we had no funding in the beginning but then the brewing brewery and the brewing company, Jerry Sullivan, um, gave us support and also South Ireland for marketing and Alan and Gal for the drugs and that, so we're very thankful for them because it's made this made, made it much easier for the festival to run without them, it, it would have been very hard really. So. Um, that was, you know, um, we hope to keep going now. I mean, it's been mainly me and my family um, with a lot of volunteer work and kind of to run it this year, but for next year now we'll have a, a full committee and we hope to just develop and get bigger every year for the next few years. <laughs> Well, I suppose I kind of it's been a 
busy year, um, as well as doing the festival, just I had been living in Cork and played a lot of um, in sessions in Cork and musicians I would have known in Cork. Um, so from missing playing a bit, um, they used to come down and visit and then uh, with two, two of the fellas are from Cork and they and a girl from North Carolina, we decided that maybe we'd just try to do something with singing, just try to do something different. Um, so why not start a band? And then at Easter we decided to record an album with Donna Hennessy with Bates and Dingle. So then we managed to get the album done and we thought it would be very fitting to launch in Dingle at the Trad Festival. So I suppose we're trying to do something new. We don't know if it's <laughs> if it's something that is uh, could be liked or not. But it's we're keeping it not too trad. A little bit of pop influence, a bit of country influence. And, a bit of Irish influence as well, we have the Irish songs, so that's how that started and I know we'd love to make a career from it, but who knows, we'll see. A big congratulations to Aoife and Deirdre in organising what looks like a vibrant festival and hopefully the Tradfest will become a permanent fixture on the calendar of events for the future. Last month we visited camp for their annual harness race meeting where Bridget O'Connor looked after us for the day. This September Bridget and a very active local community held the crowning event of their social calendar, the Camp Sheep Fair. Reputedly one of the oldest of its kind in Ireland, the camp fair differs from many other fairs in that the sheep are held in pens on the roadside rather than in a mart or in fields, with some participants even occupying the same spot on the roadside held by their forefathers going back for generations. Scruggles camera were on location to record a sample of the atmosphere that day.
Now returning to the traditional music festival Tradfest, which saw a number of performances by both established and up and coming bands at various venues around the town. The concerts included performances by the band Can with their scintillating and hypnotic playing, Liam Owen Lee of the Hothouse Flowers, and the newly formed Dulis's Patent, who launched their new CD in the Courthouse Bar. One band which also performed during the festival was the dynamic group, young group ALU, who launched their debut album Escape in McCarthy's Bar. The band came into our studios where Eve and Hulavon talked to them about their music and hopes for the future. Okay, well, as you know, there's always something happening in Dingle. This weekend is no exception. The Dingle Trad Festival kicked off on September 8th and is running until September 11th. Now, the festival offers a platform for traditional musicians and artists to showcase their talents. And joining me here in studio, I have one such artist and band, Elu, who launched their CD, CD in McCarthy's Bar last night. So welcome, lads. Thanks, Elu. Now, Killeen, you're closest to me here, Killeen um, King, so I'll get you to introduce the rest of the band. Okay, and on my left here, it's from Fromoy, Ryan Murphy. He okay. plays the pipes and the saxophone and the flute. <coughs> and here's our piano player, Francis Ward, okay. from Glenarm, County Antrim. And on the far end is our uh, percussionist and baron player, Menace Dermagidi. Very good. Now, Elu, which is of course Escape, and Escape is the name of the CD you launched last night. Where did the name come from? Um, I think Ryan. I can feel that one. Um, I had to put a band together for a dance show years ago, just like for a one off gig, and they wanted the band to have a name. So I was in Limerick at the time, and we were passing this bus, Aaron Bus, and it said Elu on it, and I thought that would be a really cool name for an album. Oh, no, not an album, a band. And so we did the gig, and we kind of. We basically got the name off the back of a bus. Very good. And how did the band form? Because I know you're from different areas and things. Yeah, it, it, very different. It, mm. As what Ryan said, it formed kind of five years ago. And then we all kind of met each other in Limerick as we were studying. And uh, so we kind of liked playing with each other and we liked kind of new creative ideas. So uh, we went with that. And uh, so the music that we play is, is totally different um so it ranges from traditional to kind of more jazzy stuff to ballads and all that stuff so the instrumentation as well is it's totally mad with concertina and in and pipes and saxophone and drums and yeah um, and talking about traditional music i know you describe yeah. music as traditional music but traditional music is a very broad term to describe music how do you describe your music more specifically than that um, I don't know. It's kind of the love child of moving hearts and planks too. Yeah. <laughs> we we kind of look at the broader spectrum of all the music and stuff like that and kind of dip into other artists and their styles and like kind of mix it with our own interpretations and interests mm. and stuff like that. Um, we listen yeah. to loads and loads and loads of different kind of music. Yeah. So a lot of the music that we play in the band would be kind of written by the three lads here. And then we might find something that we really like that hasn't been really heard before. So kind of put it out there as well. And what kind of music do you listen to? Who would be your musical influences if you like? Well, oh, do you we all have to go one by one. Yeah. <laughs> like I have a massive interest in kind of in mainstream music and old rock and roll and jazz kind of stuff. So like even one of the songs is written by um, a jazz blues singer called Jesse Fuller. Okay. And I originally got it. See, my older brother is big into music as well, but not essentially Irish music. There was a lot of kind of rock and stuff being played when I was younger, and I got one of the songs from Eric Clapton recording. Very so good. that kind of shows, like, just yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. through the yeah. idea of just if you wanted to do it. And yeah, yeah. Since Ryan plays the sax as well, we thought it might work. And yeah. So, and then, lots, plenty. It's just, it's really yeah. 50 50 the kind of music I yeah. listen to, the Irish music and everything else. A big so, combination, yeah. yeah. So, kind of take some influences from that and yeah, yeah. try and mm. incorporate it in some way. Yeah. That's what we're trying to achieve then. We're trying to develop another stage as well because yeah. you know the traditional music has to move on a bit and certain yeah. has to develop it's so this is what we're trying to, to do as well and trying to come up with new ideas that kind of someone hasn't necessarily done before yeah. yeah do you find it difficult i know traditional music what you do is very unique and i've listened to you and you say that in your bio it's traditional music with a twist and you do have that definitely but um in a sense it's not really the music that the mass listen to do you find it hard 
to break into the music industry with the music you have? You know, it's different to have music. <coughs> it is to do it. Mm. Like, the way Irish music was maybe 30, 40 years ago, bands like Langstein bands, the Body Band, there was much more of a public interest, I think. Yeah. Like, you didn't, people that didn't essentially play Irish music or listen to it still knew all about yeah. these bands like Paul Brady and the Irvine. They knew about these people. Yeah. Whereas now, I think, culture that people have changed, I think it mm -hmm. moved on. Yeah. That Irish music isn't as big a deal as it was. Mm -hmm. Where it's not looked at the same way, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. As in yeah. that you can't touch with it or you can't mess with it. Yeah. yeah. But it's not, I don't think it's as serious as yeah. it was back in the even 60s yeah. and 70s. I think even the music has evolved and we've all evolved. The, the whole outlook on it has completely changed. Mm. Okay. It's going the opposite way because the music is changing massively now more than ever, I think. Mm. Yeah. So many new bands and new ideas are coming out. And that's so busy. And then the interest, I think, isn't the same. Okay. And who, who your father is, do you mind? Um, it was funny, we, we did our first launch there a couple of weeks ago and we did it at the All Ireland Fla actually oh, yeah. um, and we didn't really know, it was very much testing the water as mm. in who would be our followers um, but it was hilarious, like if you looked at the crowd it ranged from kind of 17, 18 year olds <laughs> all the way up to kind of yeah. 50, 60 year olds yeah. and yeah. Uh, the, the kind of our parents generation are kind of really enjoy our music, especially the songs, because Donovan song, the Donovan yeah. song that Killian ha sings. You know, mm. a, his, one of his big hits was Catch the Wind. Okay. That's yeah. the song we do a version of. And Which would have been our parents' generation, really. Yeah, and yeah. They all, that generation would remember it, and that would generate an interest from them. Okay. That, you know, songs like that are still being sung, and for a band, quite a young band, that are still bringing back stuff like that. Yeah, mm. so we're finding our market is pretty spread out at the moment. It's we're still trying to find it. We still don't really know. And la last night, that last night in, in, in <laughs> yeah. McCarthy's bar as well, uh, it was very spread out as well. Yeah. It, it yeah. ranged yeah. in ages yeah, and mm. nationalities and uh, yeah. music taste all over. And when you're trying to promote yourself, do you think the Irish media are fair to you? Do you think they give you the support you need as traditional artists? Um, it's a very difficult market at the moment. Yeah. Um, because it's very difficult to gig and to kind of get people to your gigs. Um, I don't know, they, uh, we haven't really tested a whole pile yet. I um, haven't really had the opportunity. Yeah, we're kind of starting to put yeah. that together now. Okay. Yeah. We do a lot on the internet really at the moment. Yeah. Mm. That's where we're, where we're tracking down people and yeah. kind Sorry, of okay. showing people our music really. So that's how you promote yourself, is it? Yes. Yeah, we're self promotion is very like the Okay. <coughs> even out a month. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's still the very baby steps. Okay. So tell us about the album. When did you start with, with the album? When did it all start? Yeah. I think we were arranging the sets. January? Yeah. Years, well, oh, when yeah. we started recording, but like the sets, me and Killen were putting them together. I was 16 and he was 14 and we were sitting in his kitchen putting the tunes together and there's still sets from those days that we still play. That was when it kind of started, when we had the idea yeah. of the concept so of it. That's about five years ago now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's, it's been a kind of work in progress for a long time. It's always been there. It might not have been the priority all the time mm. you when know, we school and stuff, but it was. Mm. It was always in the back of our minds that it would be done. And who writes the songs? Uh, I wrote one song, and then the other two. Well, this is Donovan song that we cover, and the blues song. But I kind of wrote one in the same vein, or attempted to write one in the same vein as uh, the blues one, because since Ryan played the sax one, it's so different. It'll be great to kind of utilise that and push it to try and make a new thing. So it'll be a distinctive sound. And what kind of things, I don't know, if you, you write songs, but what inspires you to write a song? What do you use? <laughs> uh, it's kind of like... There was, there was uh, a couple of songs that came, yeah. that came in front of us, really, like Killian wrote, um, I, that didn't actually make the cut first. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of songs. <laughs> there weren't... See, since I, I listened to absolutely everything, so it wasn't... <laughs> when I wrote those songs, it wasn't... Irish stuff I was listening to. It was all, like of, all kinds of subjects, really. Kind of yeah. Mainstream music, and I'm a big follower of Randy Newman as well. That kind of sounded like that kind of music. So I brought a couple of songs, and a couple of them didn't really work. I thought they wouldn't. They were, I think they were a bit too far off. Yeah. They were mm -hmm. way different than everything else, but one stuck. Okay. Yeah. And <coughs> kind of stuck with that then. Like, and mm -hmm. You wrote about your dad as well. Like, yeah, it was about my dad is kind of a song. I can't even remember how it came about. I, I think it was I only wrote about two years ago now. Like I, I always had it, and eventually I just kind of tweaked it up and brought it. And the lads helped me out great with it. Like so. Very good. And where will the album be available? 
Brilliant. Well, we're Sorry. looking into distribution at the moment, so it'll be available in all the shops. But at the moment, we're selling it directly from our website. Which uh, is? which is www, or it's actually, sorry, alumusic.com. Okay. Forget about the www. Okay. <laughs> well, shortened it down. Alumusic.com. Okay. Yeah. Right, good. Can I ask you, I always want to ask musicians about this, what do you think of programmes like The X Factor? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. It's, it's kind of more entertainment They're than entertainment. Yeah. a real music show. It's entertainment for people, you know. Mm. It's, uh, I wouldn't be a big fan of that. No. You wouldn't. I don't know. The it's music, hard, we, li- the it's music hard we listen to. to break yeah. into the music industry isn't it an option for them, you know? Yeah, it's. I appreciate that. It's, it, what they do is hard. Those auditions are incredibly stressful, I can mm. imagine. Like. Very testing mentally as well, I'd say. Yeah, and yeah. You know, what they show, what, what they probably cut out in interviews and stuff, it's, it can, they can make someone come across totally different. And it is difficult what they do, but. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot down to them. They have a lot of control, you know. Yeah. Because they can take a, a small bits of an yeah. interview or your audition yeah. and make you sound amazing or yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure involved, I think, about for anyone not if you work. So you kind of have to <coughs> give them a bit of credit because it's not like, easy. Yeah. All, the, all our favourite music that didn't come out of the X <laughs> Factor. So, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we wouldn't be a major fan of it, but it's, it's, good, it's good crack to watch. Yeah, yeah, I think everyone, everyone agrees with that. Yeah. Yeah. So where do you see te- uh, ALU in 10 years' time? Oh, uh, retired after making millions. <laughs> <laughs> on the golf course, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Barbados. <laughs> well, what is the long-term plan? Um, I suppose we're just going to keep going now and gig away and see and see if there's a second album in us. See yeah. if we can we're looking resist into, from fighting. <laughs> we're looking into agents abroad, really, because it's very difficult to gig uh, with Irish Disney music as your main focus in Ireland. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're looking abroad, um, kind of Germany is the main one, um, UK, Japan and the States is kind of dying on its legs really at the moment because the dollar is kind of, kind of weak against the euro mm-hmm. and yeah. there's loads of brilliant second generation Irish musicians over there doing mm-hmm. similar stuff to what we were doing so yeah. kind of looking to go abroad at it really for the time being. Well, that's it for me. Now, ALU CD will be available on their website, alumusic.com in the coming weeks. Now, Scruggle TV would like to wish the Dingle Tradfest and the committee all the best this year and the coming years with the festival. So that's it for me. Good evening, Sound the Fold. Well, that's us for another month and we hope you enjoyed this edition of Sul Ruinach. We'd just like to thank Chris May for the background photographs we've used for the last three episodes. We encourage any of you out there that have any photographs that you think might suit the programme to please get in touch with us. Also, don't forget, if you're out and about with the camera recorder recording any local event and would like a platform to show it to the greater public, that's what we're here for. We can help you plan your piece or assist you with editing it if you're not up to speed in that department. Thanks again for looking us up. Slán gafól agus gadeithu slán.